Hi, I'm Nick of Creative 111, and this is the second video showcasing the new features of Final Cut's Object Tracker. You'll definitely want to watch the first video in this series to find out some valuable info. What we'd like to do is attach some text to the spacecraft and also obscure part of it. And we can achieve this directly from the transform options under our text, which will allow us to then apply an object tracker to the clip underneath when we bring it into our timeline. To see this, I'm going to select the actual clip in the timeline and press X to mark it. I already have mapped out my title here in the Titles and Generators sidebar. I'll select it and press Q, and that title matches the duration of the clip underneath. With the title selected, I'm going to go to the Title Inspector where there's a property for me to turn off the background, and now I can see my spacecraft. Let's change this title directly in the viewer. And I'll use the text inspector in order to scale down to fit that text, drag it up a bit. I'm actually going to click off and on so I can get these rotation controls for this 3D text. So I'm rotating it on the Y axis. Now, with the text still selected, I can go to the transform options for it. So from this menu, I have the ability to add a new tracker. And if I go into the Tracker tab here, I can start to play around with its size and its shape. In this case, I do kind of want it to track the entire spaceship, but I'm going to pin it to a point up here and then just try to play with the size here a bit. So we can get the whole shape in here or just part of it. Now, before I track, it's important to note that it's not actually going to be tracking the text. Keep in mind that we added the new tracker to the shot that's underneath, and that is what it's going to analyze. Let's click the Analyze Back button first. So we'll track this part of the spacecraft first. And then I'll analyze and track that forward. So if I move to the beginning of the project, text animates in and then follows that spacecraft and everything is looking pretty good. But now it's time to obscure this. In order to do so, I'm gonna make a duplicate copy of the clip in my timeline. I'm gonna option click and drag it so it's above the title, the duplicate. I'm really gonna just move to any frame. Let's move somewhere earlier in the timeline. And I'm gonna just make a marker on the first clip by pressing the M key with it selected so that we can Note the spot where I start to mask out on the above clip. In the mask category of my effect browser, I'll drag on the draw mask effect. I'm just gonna click done to hide the actual tracking options. And here I wanna to start to draw a mask around the region of the spacecraft that I want to obscure the text. That does a pretty good job. Great part is I can go back in here and add more points if needed, as well as feather that part of the ship. And it does look like I need to extend it so it totally does cover the word W. Now that I have this all set up, on this frame, I'm going to go to the Retime menu and hold this frame. I'm then going to actually get rid of everything else minus the hold section. So. One way to do that is to first of all, extend the hold here. And in fact, I'm gonna just trim off all of the normal at the beginning. You can also press the option left square bracket to do that. And I'll show this by trimming the end point. Go to that point and then press option right square bracket to trim the end. This mask doesn't actually move with the spacecraft and you don't have the option of adding this tracking data to the mask category. However, what we can do is because this is a still with it selected and on the actual frame, which I started to draw on, I'll go to the transform section. And again, that was identified because of the marker and then just choose that object track, that first object track. Now this other asset is connected to it. And in fact, we can see that it does a pretty good job following that spacecraft. Now it does also follow the position and rotation of it. And you might just want 
because it's a still and almost flat to the camera, to choose that some of that data isn't connected. So all of your object tracking data is in the transform category. And here at the top, where I click on this, this is where the position and rotation data is transferring over. If I click on rotation, now it's just position data. Devoid of that rotation. And while there's a little bit of drift, it's a lot easier just to keyframe this still in a few different spots to perfect this. And in fact, there's no harm in me adding a keyframe right now to this spot for, to get it in place followed by moving that in place at the end. And by zooming in, we can get a nice little obscuration of our text there with a handy little mask trick of creating a still from that above spacecraft. And that's it for this movie on the new features of the object tracker inside of Final Cut Pro.